Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to spend more time on conditional formatting in Excel Video 46. I have some credentialing deadlines up here, and I've got a whole bunch of physicians. That if I scroll down, I've got 25 or so physicians with some credentialing deadlines coming up. I want to know who's past due, who's coming due, who I can wait on for another week or two. And I can sort by date and work through it that way, but look how easy conditional formatting makes it. If you watched Excel Video 45, you know that we spent some time in conditional formatting and highlight cells rules, and we walked through greater than, less than, between, equal to, some of these things for numbers. We walked through some text examples. Let's walk through some date and some duplicate value examples today in uh, video 46. So the thing to do is to highlight the cells you want to format, and then conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, look, look for dates. I want a date. Let's look for things that were last month that I'm concerned about now that are overdue. So if I do last month, you see immediately Excel's going to say, hey, look, there's a February one, another February, another February. These guys are past due. Um, we got to do something about these physicians. And let's just leave the format the way it is. And it's easy for me to see the five physicians that are past due. Now, these are random numbers, so you're going to see it move as we test these things. Don't let that bother you. Um, but let's come back over here and let's take the same set of data and now the very same thing, highlight sales rules, a date occurring. If it's next month, then you know what? I'm going to put that in green field with dark green text because next month stuff I can wait on. So I'm going to do that. So I don't need to worry about this one and this one and this one and this one. And everybody else is coming up or uh, within the next 30 days or so. And I better start on uh, the red ones, then work on the ones that aren't formatted, and then work on the green ones. That easy, you can get uh, conditional formatting for dates. There's your choices, yesterday, today, tomorrow, and the last seven days. All those choices. And again, if you don't like the formatting option you have, custom format will let you do a whole bunch of different things. Let's look at the other example for today. That's dates. Let's assume that um, I work for a group of ER docs and the hospital's given me a whole list of patients that says, look, here's the patients that were here today or uh, that your group saw in the ER and you better make sure you bill them. So what I want to know here is, is there a chance that I've got a duplicate patient in this list? So Excel's telling me I've got 100 patients Show me an easy way to find out if I've got any duplicates. Conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, and duplicate values. What duplicate values will do is there's a duplicate. These are unique. So let's do duplicate and just to remind you, we'll go play with custom format just a little bit. And we can put a background fill and we'll put that color in there to remind us we've got a problem. And we'll bold everything we have a problem with. And let's see, um, we'll make it look really bad so it will be obvious which ones have our duplicates. So there's the duplicates with a custom format. You click OK. And sure enough, there is a duplicate there. There's a duplicate there. And look, they're highlighting both the duplicates. See, uh, Dr. Powell here and Dr. Powell there are both in the list. Dr. Howell and Dr. Bradley, or excuse me, these aren't doctors. I've got, I've got my wrong example. These are uh, patients that we saw in the ER. Up there was doctors. So I've got uh, Ms. Bradley and Mr. Howell and Ms. Powell that are on the hospital's list uh, twice for some reason. And there is a fast and easy way. In the old days, if you're like me, you used to like sort them alphabetically and try to scan through and figure out, okay, do I have duplicates or not? Just highlight the list, go to conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, duplicate values, and it's very easy to find the duplicate ones. Or if you're looking the other way and you say, I want to see just the unique ones, there it is. If I'd highlighted the cells, you'd have seen it. But there's the other way to do um, duplicates and unique. Fast and easy way to uh, find duplicates in a list, where in the old days it used to be a lot harder. That is the conditional formatting highlight cells menu. Next time, stay tuned. We'll go through top and bottom. Thanks for watching.